I went to California State University, Monterey Bay, right down the street in Monterey. And, but the summer between graduating high school and going to college, I watched The Rock, which was a movie with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. And in that they had seals. The seals get shot, they get killed by the Marines, but they looked really cool. You know, they came in in their little underwater vehicles and they came out of the sewer with their wetsuits and their, their guns. And I was like, those guys are badass. And so I started researching and reading about the SEALs. And everything I came across was how their training was the toughest in the military and they were the most elite um, military unit. So I wondered, something crossed my mind. I wondered if I could do that. I said to myself, do I have what it takes to become one of them? So in high school, I was on the football team, but I never started. I tried out for the basketball team. I didn't, um, I didn't get picked up. I can't even say I got cut because I just didn't get picked up. And I, so I, was not, I did not have a stellar athletic career in high school. So then there was this, this physical endeavor of becoming a SEAL. And I was like, well, I should try this. And I told my parents I wanted to do it. And at first they were like, you're crazy. Just go to college, do college. So I said, okay. So I stayed in college for like two months. And I dropped out and said, and I went to a recruiter and I enlisted in the Navy. And interestingly, that at that time, I said to myself, if I don't do this now, I'll never do this. And I'll always wonder what happened. What would have my life been like? Or what would my life be if I did do that? I didn't want to have any regrets. I didn't want to have, I didn't want to be 30, 40 years old thinking, well, one day, once I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. I needed to find out if I could do it and I needed to, to do it then. And actually that, that kind of, that train of thought has uh, led me through a lot of things in life. Like, okay, if I don't do this now, you might not ever do it, or you might a couple of years down the road regret having not tried or not gone for that or t taken a risk essentially. So I took the risk and um, dropped out of high school or college and enlisted and a few months later, was shipped off. And my parents were really proud of me at that point. In the beginning, they weren't. And um, then as I left and went through the process, and, and I made it through the training. Uh, the, the training is six months long. And oftentimes, going through it, people get hurt or rolled back for performance. So you stay there for a really long time. But I was able to make it through in one, in one iteration, which was I was very fortunate. And then so my 20s, that entire time, I was stationed mostly in Virginia. That's the phase of my life I don't talk much about, but it's really formative of who I am now and what I do now, the, the, the decade, 12 years that I was in the Navy. And I don't talk a lot about it because, um, you know, we were the silent professional. That's how we were brought up. We're, we were not supposed to talk about what we did. And I really took that to heart. And I... Uh, I was raised in that community by guys who were that I really respected that kind of beat that mentality into you that, Hey, you're a Navy SEAL. You're not supposed to talk about what you do. 